some of you guys might have heard recently that there is a new creed. There's a new creed. We have the Apostles' Creed. We have the Nicene Creed. We have the Athanasian Creed. We have the Tridentine Creed. But we have a new creed, the Sparkle Creed. Howdy, everyone. Welcome back to the Traditional Thomas. For those of you tuning in for the very first time, I want to welcome you. My name is Nicholas Cavazos. It's good to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. We have an interesting story today about uh, a new creed. No, not put out by the Synod of Synodality, thank the good Lord. Rather, this is a creed. I think it's more of a joke more than anything else, more of a diss at actual religion, actual God-given religion. But it's uh, a Lutheran priestess, quote-unquote, um, at this very woke church has now given a new creed called the Sparkle Creed to the non-binary God. Um, aside from the fact that God, generally speaking, in common parlance is more of a masculine term, and you're adding non-binary to it, um, and that doesn't make sense. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be examining this creed very briefly. You're going to be watching me react to it, and we're going to be answering and addressing some of its points from a Thomistic perspective. Now, again, I don't think that these people actually believe probably in anything, and they're probably doing this for trolling purposes. However, I think it would be interesting, nonetheless, to go ahead and examine some of the lines because you'll see that some of the lines that we see inside of this new Sparkle Creed are generally speaking, very common talking points that communists and leftists give, whether they claim to be believers in Christianity, religion, or atheists for that matter. So let's go ahead and dive in and we'll give a response. All right, everyone. So as you can see right here, it says, I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. Uh, very interesting, quote unquote. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, I have already watched this video once before. But I found that aside from the fact that I wanted to explode, there was many beneficial things that I found that we could actually apologetically critique and examine. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to watch the full thing through, and then we're going to pick it apart piece by piece. <clears throat> Anybody to rise in body or spirit, and let us confess our faith today in the words of the Sparkle Creed. I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. I believe in the church of everyday saints as numerous, creative, and resilient as patches on the eighth quilt, whose feet are grounded in mud and whose eyes gaze at the stars in wonder. I believe in the calling to each of us that love is love is love. So beloved, let us love. I believe, glorious God, help my unbelief. Amen. All right, so there you have it. Let us go ahead and pick this part piece by piece. The first portion, I believe in the non-binary non God whose pronouns are plural. Um, yeah, aside from the fact that I already made the first initial critique at the beginning of this video on having a masculine term of God, but yet also including non-binary into the same sentence, it seems a bit self-contradictory, but whose pronouns are plural. So again, what this is, is they're not saying that they believe in one God, but rather that they believe that all gods are kind of a 
all gods from all religions are nothing more than an expression of man's internal religious sentiments and all represent the same general basic faith in some abstract manner. This, of course, is completely antithetical to everything that the Catholic Church teaches. Rather, the Catholic Church teaches that there is one God in essence who is three in persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and that this being is one. And we call God the Father not because male or female, but because he is the um father or the paternal origin of us all and that he is the first and foremost in the order of processions again i'm not going to get super in depth within any a lot of this but what's very interesting to me is that they're not even trying to get basic fundamental christianity down the next phrase i want to examine is that we believe in jesus christ their son who had two dads in a fabulous tunic This is blasphemy my, blasphemy, my friends. Christ, the eternal Son of God, is not created. He is one God, the same with Father and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. But the Son is the eternal Logos. He is the eternal Word of God. He is the eternal knowledge that God has of himself. Very deep stuff. To come out and blaspheme him by saying that he has two dads is to one, blaspheme our Lord, but is also to blaspheme our Lady. Christ has one Father, right? One eternal Father, that being God the Father. St. Joseph is his earthly adopted Father, and our Lady, whose flesh Christ took his humanity from, is his mother. What's interesting to me is that they want to placate and say that Christ came from some type of homosexual union, which is blasphemy, disgusting, and wickedness. But also, I guess if you were to be consistent in their mentality, wouldn't that also be sexist because you're now excluding women? But then again, also in their system, they don't know what a woman is. A woman is a non-man, right? <laughs> According to uh, the latest definitions. So again, it just falls flat. The next phrase is that they believe in the great rainbow spirit who destroys the great white light. This is nothing more than a manifestation of the left's racism. The left is racist. And it is racist because it hates white people. And it hates minorities. And it will use any one of them as nothing more than a pawn to justify continual domination on a societal level this is nothing more than social marxism the segregation and dividing and the hatred inflamed between races of men quote unquote as catholics we don't even believe that there is such a thing as quote races or species of man according to saint thomas aquinas a man is both is a body and a soul composite but the accidental qualities of man that being things like his hair color his eye color his skin color are nothing more than the accidental qualities of man they are not what makes a man a man. As an example, if I was to be born, let's just say, with four fingers on one hand, that would be an abnormality, but that would not prevent me from being a man. If I was to have my leg unfortunately removed or my arm removed, that wouldn't make me any less of a man in the context of my humanity. Of course, you could joke and say, well, you're legless now, so you're less, you're half of a man. But in reality, I am no less of a human being in the context of my nature. I have a body and I have a soul. The left does not care about the soul, but only about the accidental qualities of man in order so that they can use that as a wedge issue to divide people. These types of things, my friends, is what is truly troubling. How do we combat this? How do we defeat this? First and foremost, we have to pray the rosary. We have to pray the rosary every single day, all 15 decades. But we also have to study our faith in the context of sacred scripture, context of traditional catechisms, by going to the traditional Latin mass and sacraments, by raising our children in accordance with traditional norms, by taking them out of these wicked public schools and sending them to good traditional Catholic schools. When we do that, and when we're really on top of our game, our Lord will show us the faith. He will give us the faith. He will provide for us the faith, and we shall be saved. 
All right, everyone, thank you so much for reacting to this with me. Bit of a short video, but uh, I think it's interesting and important to review these because when we really examine this, we can continue to see how absolutely insane the left is really becoming. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Make sure and give a like to this video, subscribe, and share the content of the traditional Thomist on all social media platforms. If you'd like to donate to this said work, there'll be a link in the description below, or you can go over to traditional Thomist at patreon.com and you can donate there. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And as always, may our Lord bless you, our Lady keep you, and St. Joseph watch over and protect you. God bless.